discretion is advised. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Marley and I are out here in the mountains. We're at it again. We've been here for a couple days because I've been filming for a few different projects. Um, it is a bit warm. It's a high of 93 degrees today. And so it's a bit warmer than usual. Um, but we're gonna see if we can find some activity with the ground squirrels. I brought with me the American Air Arms Evil. This is the standard version in 22 caliber. And I've got it configured to about 42 foot pounds using the NSA 20.2 grain slugs. And I found it to be extremely accurate. We'll do a little bit of hunting. I'll give you guys a few tips that have kind of helped me um, in different hunting situations. And we'll just try to have a little fun. In most cases, you know, I can always sit down like this and I can use my knee and my elbow as a rest to cradle the gun. And I found this to be really stable in a lot of different situations. Um, but we really have to get out, we have to practice our offhand shooting. Because a lot of times, you know, we'll come up on a area where there's a rabbit and we've got to take an offhand shot. And having a bipod on the front um, you know, or something like this is not going to help you. So that's something to think about. I don't want you guys to think that, you know, I, I just use all this top quality gear and that's the only way. Because um, it's not. Um, you really have to find what works, what fits your budget. Good girl. So I spotted this guy at 67 yards. He was moving on some deadfall on the side of this hill. And I watched him for a while. He climbed up onto 
uh, tree stump where I was able to take the shot. Went right into his neck, took him down, and man, he is a bug eye for sure. But there's more of them. We're gonna continue on up this uh, animal trail here and see if we can find a spot to sit down. Marmy and I just sat down and we've got a nice view across this ravine here where there's some fell trees, um, there's a tree stump, and I'm spotting ground squirrels out there at about 85 yards. And uh, we've already taken one and I see a few others that keep moving around um, up on one of the, the higher um, fell trees. They like to get up on top and sun themselves especially in the late afternoon when it's starting to cool down. Um, I've noticed that there's a little bit more activity. And so we're gonna give it a few more minutes, see if we can get one or two more. Well guys, Marley and I are going to call it quits for the day. I'd say we were pretty successful in taking down a few ground squirrels. The evil worked out really well for us and we just had a really nice time out. I, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment and I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can. I will leave links in the description for some of the gear that we used or you guys can always reach out to Air Guns of Arizona. Um, they do carry the full line of American Air Arms guns, and they're very familiar with them. And, you know, let them know that you guys like these videos, and, you know, I'll certainly continue making them. But I really appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next adventure. So in the United States, you want to obviously go to Air Guns of Arizona. They are our dealer. They are our authorized repair center. Uh, the sales staff is very knowledgeable. I come here about every other month, uh, work with the guys to make sure that they have a working knowledge of what they're selling. The authorized repair service from AOA is fantastic. Uh, they've got great service technicians. Again, we come uh, once or twice a year to give training sessions on service, and that's the place to buy. Their website has all the specs on it. You can also look at our website, which is AmericanAirArms.com, but it will direct you over the AOA. Uh, if you're in Europe, you want to take a look at Crawley. One thing to remember is we build our guns in the USA. Everything is made in the USA. We do that for a couple of reasons. One, we can control what we sell. The other is that it supports families. Uh, it supports our vendors, it supports our employees, it supports my family, and we get a beautiful product that uh, we can stand behind. So everybody? USA made, baby! Woo! Woo! Baby. <laughs> <laughs>